Hey, what's up? This is Joe. This video is going to take you down some really messed up mountain roads on a 155 scooter, uh, visiting some gorgeous Buddhist temples along the way, and uh, ultimately to a really fascinating night market for some delicious Thai street food. mountains of uh, northwestern Thailand. Last night I stayed in this freaking pretty kick-ass spot uh, up here in the mountains. Pretty far from civilization. Uh, just picked the curviest line on the map and uh, it ended up being one of the coolest roads uh, I think I've ever ridden. So anyway, heading back down the mountains and then back up into the mountains on some more crazy curvy looking roads. My previous night's position had put me at roughly the halfway point in the loop I'd been riding. As I began descending the mountains, I was suddenly surrounded by a thick, low-hanging fog. In this part of the world, this is famously known as the Sea of Mist. This mist occurs primarily in the cooler months and rolls in at dawn just before sunrise. From the right vantage point, the visual effect is nothing short of spectacular. sitting in 7-Eleven. They got all kinds of prepared foods that they'll heat up in the microwave for you. Pretty good quality stuff. And then of course I got another uh, exotic chip to review. This is, I mean, I have no idea what that is or even how to say it. <laughs> but it looks like peanuts, dried shrimp, lime, onion, chilies. That's banana flour. Wow. This is one of the best ones. A kaleidoscope of flavors. Lime, onion, chili, a little bit of shrimp. These prepared meals are just easier than anything else. I mean, I'm coming to 7-Eleven anyway to get uh, water and gas and everything. So it's just easier. Plus, I know what this is. It's really kind of uh, a shame that uh, I can't read Thai because uh, a lot of these, can't really call them restaurants. They're really more kind of like food stalls a lot of them have a handwritten menu and you can actually if it's like typed out text you can use a translate app and take a picture of it and it'll sort of translate but if it's just handwritten then you know it doesn't come up in the translator so that makes it really difficult to order food because you have no idea uh, what you're ordering and what the options are all right just filled up on gas uh getting ready to leave uh, <laughs> hey. So heading uh, into the mountains uh, towards this other town that I was at the other day on a crazy curvy road. It's uh, going to be quite a bit of riding, so come on, let's go check it out. As you probably figured out by now, interesting Buddhist temples seem to pop up frequently in this country, no matter where you are.
They were so unlike anything I'd ever seen, I had to pull over quite often just to check them out. Shortly after I'd made the right turn and begun the second half of this loop, it became abundantly clear that I would not be treated to the same luxurious road conditions as before. On the Yamaha 155 scooter, it looked like I was in for a long stretch of testicle crushing riding. The question of whether I'd still have the ability to make children after this ride was open to speculation. out here uh, in the middle of nowhere uh, getting a drink of water up until this point it's been uh, actually pretty cold and then uh, almost all of a sudden it's hot as all get out so I'm uh, taking off my uh, sweatshirt this road is absolutely crazy super messed up you got to really pick your line uh, very wisely and be careful for oncoming traffic because uh, the right side of the road might be so messed up that people are clear in your not just in your lane but in your line uh, coming that way, which has already happened a couple of times, where the, the line that I'm on is the only good section of the road. So I'm almost back in uh, Shangdao. What I didn't show you is that uh, all of a sudden, um, as I'm negotiating these uh, curvy roads and stuff, uh, the check engine lights started flashing and uh, the motor stalled out and died. So basically I just pulled it over into the shade, let it cool off for a little bit, got my bearings, got some water and coffee and stuff. And then uh, she fired right back up and, uh, and took off. And I made it another 25 miles or so. Our bike like this that sees a lot of heavy use, I mean, it could be anything. My suspicion was probably maybe a little bit of bad gas, uh, something like that. When it happened, I'd been riding a lot of really steep grades and uh, going over a lot of bumps and potholes and stuff like that. So uh, 
who knows i've just been putting this thing through absolute hell it seems to be holding up for now i just got some uh fresh gas from the gas station so not much further to uh to shangdao and then uh probably find a cheap room there and uh, hole up for the night out here you just get more of a warm kind of friendly cozy vibe in order for me to be happy and really have a good trip and you know enjoy my time i just got to get as far away from uh all the touristy places all the cities as uh, i possibly can So I got the Changdao style stewed pork with rice. Since we are in Changdao. Right over there. That's good. The foods in this region have uh, a lot of cloves in the, uh, in the spice mixture. Cloves, star anise for sure. So it's almost got a little bit of a, a Chinese uh, five spice uh, kind of a taste to it. Oh, looks like I got company. Hey, what's up, Kitty? Swadika. Did come alone to Thailand? Huh? Come alone to Thailand? Yes. I love the food. Huh? Food? Food? Yeah. Okay, this one? This one? Not okay. This one. Uh, got another one of these little one room shacks with uh, no air conditioning. <laughs> and uh, just a little, just a simple little bare bones washroom toilet yeah i don't know what's going to happen with that uh, scooter i think it's probably going to be all right now that i've topped off on fresh gas i just needed a place to sit down do some work on my computer get everything charged up pretty amazing how fast uh all your devices and stuff can run down but this is cool i got this little patio area it's absolutely sweltering hot right now uh, which is in marked contrast to uh, where i just was in the mountains where i was actually like you know pretty cold okay so they tell me there's uh kind of a one day a week they have like a walking street slash night market kind of a thing going on down here so um, i'm all about that kind of stuff Walking Street in Shangdao is a once a week affair, and judging by the amount of motorbikes parked nearby, it was a big deal for this small mountain town. The country of Thailand is particularly known for the overwhelming diversity of delicious food choices. Here you can find everything from barbecued meat on a stick to sushi to giant vats of meatballs cooked in coconut milk curry and all kinds of delectable sweets. If I had known about this earlier I wouldn't have eaten but based on the looks of things it looks like I'll be eating again. <laughs> Song? Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I just got 
got these, which are kind of green, sticky rice with sesame seeds. Really good. Uh, sticky rice cooked in sweet coconut milk. <laughs> These I can't resist because they're one of my favorite types of sushi with the salmon roe. Obviously it's a little sketchy to be eating sushi uh, on the street like this, but whatever. Hey, very good. Very, very good. Arroy Makav. Arroy Makav. Ah. Ah. Where you from? America. America. Yes, sir. Eagle. Yes, sir. <laughs> God be with you. Thank you. Oh man, that wasabi. Nuclear level strength, man. It just about put me on my knees. This right here is the stuff that killed Elvis. These things are like a little donut filled with something delicious and then covered with sesame seeds. <laughs> oh my god. So good. All right, so today I'm headed uh, back to Chiang Mai and then uh, probably make a couple of stops on the way. There's a, uh, a cobra farm uh, apparently not too far away from here. And lots of stuff to do and see around here, but the cobra farm is one thing. Uh, I absolutely did not want to miss. So anyway, looking for a place to eat and then uh, heading over there. Hopefully, I don't have any more problems with this thing. Kokun Kab. See you. See you later. Bye-bye. Just a quick reminder, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, as usual, I've included an optional donate link in the drop box for anybody that might like to contribute to this project. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the road. Somewhere down the line, I lost my black sweatshirt. Might have been when the bike was messing up. I remember taking it off. Maybe I didn't strap it down. I thought I tied it to the back. Uh, maybe somebody ganked it. In which case, I mean, I hope the person that got it needed it more than I did. This is uh, turning into a little bit of an adventure. Uh, it's freezing cold. I don't want to get on the highway. I want to say freezing. It's not freezing, freezing, but I don't want to be comfortable. So I just talked to some people over there and they sent me this way supposedly in one kilometer on the right there's a place where i can find uh, a hoodie so or at least i think that's what uh we figured out in the translation Maybe this one? Uh huh. Can I see? All right, well, this is what I got. Tried to talk the guy down. He absolutely would not budge, man. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. So I'm representing whatever uh, presumably Thai uh, black metal band.